Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to Fish and Grills. For this episode, backed by popular demand, we're gonna make some fish tacos. This time with some palani. Stay tuned. For this episode of Fishing Girls! Everybody, welcome back. Thank you for tuning in. So we have our polani, we have a pualu. I'm gonna fillet them both, skin it, debone it. I'm gonna make one butter garlic and one tempura. Both is gonna make delicious tacos. Stay tuned. Okay, first I wanna come behind, behind the fin. Come around this way, I'm gonna come out this way, I'm gonna come around this way, underneath, and I'm gonna come straight through the spine bone. Okay. So this one you want to glide it right along the dorsal all the way through. And then from here, I want to keep going till I hit the spine. Okay, from here I'm going to come through here, come out the back side. Do the same thing on this side, I'm going to keep glide it and I'm going to go until I hit the spine. Remember, I want to push against the meat so get as much as I can can come straight through like this. And then right there. Okay, set this aside. Same thing on this side. So this I'm gonna come bottom of first just because I'm right-handed. I'm gonna do
Okay, no ways. What do I want to do now? Rip off the collars. Save this for frying later. Right, so this is a black hoggy that I caught earlier. So what I did at the beach, I cut it straight behind the trigger, br broke it down and just ripped it. And the skin, just make a couple of slits and rip it on both sides. You're left at this, and just gotta play it. I'm just gonna skin it, cut off the pin bones, and I'm gonna cut off the ribs bones over here. Okay. First, I wanna find an edge. Perfectly use my finger now. Come straight down like this. So this is flat. I wanna lift up the back just a little bit. So once I get down, just ride it. You gotta ride the skin all the way through, and use your whole knife. Okay, perfectly skinned. All right, now that the skin is off, give it a quick rinse and we get it off the pin bones. Pin bones is the bones in the center. So I'm gonna go right above it. I'm gonna go straight down. Now I got one boneless piece. Okay. Put that on the side. So this side is a little bit tricky. You gotta do the ribs full. Find the first rib, go straight in, straight back out. Come back across. Okay, all the ribs are done. Now cutting off the pin bones, find that center again. Cut it straight through. Now I have two slabs, boneless and skinless. All right, now for the last part, we have these boneless, skinless slabs. Now we're just gonna cut them into nice taco-sized pieces. So I'm gonna lay them all out over here. Okay, think like a taco, like about that big. So think how big your taco is. So right there, two tacos. back thank you for tuning in okay i'm gonna show you guys a trick for all certain fishes they have that distinctive smell and taste the limo that's why a lot of people are like they, they don't know how to get that fishy flavor out but let me show you a secret yeah so i'm gonna lay these out on a napkin okay so what i want to do is i want to take all that water out all that fishy smelling water that's inside the meat okay I'm gonna give it a light coat of, eh, you use Hawaiian salt. I use garlic salt. I don't have Hawaiian salt right now, but garlic salt. Garlic salt is fine. So you wanna get a nice spread out. All right, now that I have my salted fish on top of napkins, so what it does is take out all of the moisture. Then the salt draws, pulls it out, pulls out the flavor, all that fishy flavor. So I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator for about 10, 15, you know, 20 minutes to firm up the meat. So when you cook it, it cooks more evenly. Okay, 
Okay, while our fish is in the refrigerator firming up and all that fish smells coming out, we can start doing our other prep. We have here our Chinese cilantro. Now for our lettuce. All right, now we're gonna mince up our garlics. We're gonna melt our butter. Then we're gonna cook the first batch. Okay. So we have a couple of teaspoons of oil. We're gonna cook the garlic first before we add our butter. All right, now that our garlic is starting to cook up, we're gonna add in our butter right in the middle. And once this melts all the way, then we're ready to put in our fish. All right, now that our butter is all melted up, let's put in our fish. Now, so I'm looking for that golden brown on each side. You want to cook it all the way. Still want that moist in the middle. So, add a little bit longer. Make another minute. Oh. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna put it on a pan for about a minute each side, warm it up, and makes it easier for rolling. Otherwise it cracks. All right, now that all of our corn tortillas is all warmed up, let's get our sauce ready. All right, for our sauce, just regular Powder sauce, we have some mayonnaise, some relish, garlic, salt, pepper. Oh. Oh, you eat. Shh. 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 <laughs> 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 that was my worst. Cooked in butter, garlic. We have our tartar sauce, cilantro, lettuce, sweet chili sauce, and our organic flour tortillas. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> you guys were... Bingo. Now for our taco construction, I got my organic flour tortilla. Now for our taco. <laughs> now for our taco construction, my organic flour tortilla. Okay, first I'm gonna spread some tartar sauce. I'm gonna find two delicious pieces of fishies. One, two. <laughs> Then I got my lettuce. Oh, some cilantro. Some salsa. And a little bit of sweet chili. Okay, now we taste. Yum. 
Mm. Very good. Oh yeah, my turn. Oh, let's go. Wow, that's pretty good. Fish tacos, everyone. <laughs> 